people talk about S3, what they mean is a hard drive in the sky, also known as a bucket. So you'll hear people say bucket. So we're gonna log in and create a bucket first. I'm gonna go to the AWS management console. A lot of people just say console for short or AWS console. Sign in with whatever your account is. And when you go in there, you'll be in whatever region you are. Don't really worry about that because for the most part, S3 is region agnostic. That means that they have servers all over the world. And although you can create a bucket in a specific region, it doesn't really matter for our purposes of just learning. When you actually deploy websites, you start to care. So we're gonna go to S3. You're gonna click there. If you can't find it, just search for it. It's called S3. And when it loads, we're gonna start by creating a brand new bucket. Now I already have some buckets up here. Think of them like hard drives that have folders. Although there's people who talk about S3 having key-based storage or there's not really folders, no one cares. It's all normal stuff. So we're gonna create a bucket called my bucket, yo. And I'm gonna create it in Virginia because I'm in Virginia. You put it whatever closest to wherever you are. It doesn't really matter if it's far away. And I'm gonna block all public access by default. I just wanna use my API. I don't want anybody else on the internet touching it. Don't have versioning. Versioning, if you think of like Git or SVN, we don't want that. Tags is if you can find it or if you work at a company that has compliance reasons. That's what those are for. It's metadata, don't worry about that. And normally, Encryption, even if enabled by default, you don't have to like worry about it. It's just kind of handle transparency. But for us, we're gonna leave it off. And that's it. So all the default settings, I just gave it a name. I didn't really click anything. Hit create. In your account here, like my account right here, you may have a bucket you've already named. And so sometimes you'll do that. Now I've done this tutorial multiple times. So I might have 50 my bucket yo's. So we're gonna say my NASA bucket, just because I'm wearing a NASA t-shirt. Scroll down and say create. Once it's there, you can grab its name and then use it within your account. So we're gonna copy that name and then we're gonna use that name of that bucket for everything else.